You sure about that? He's he's saying some things that are stern, folks. You know, <sighs> he said that whether he stays with the Bucks long term will greatly depend on how the team is performing. But he also has two brothers in the league right now, and when he was asked about the possibility of playing together one day. He said, I think that'd be amazing. Obviously, we'd spend more time together. I'm 100% sure my mom would love that. But if we could team up on a team in Milwaukee, L.A., whatever. It's 70 degrees here today. That'd of be course, awesome. Of course players want to play in a winter league in L.A. It's 70 degrees. Well, one brother is with him in Milwaukee. The other one is with the Lakers. Yes, it is 70 degrees here in California. I was just in Chicago. It, the weather is nicer here. It was four I degrees. I love Chicago. You know, I, mean, I, I love Chicago, too. It's my, my wife's favorite city. But you, you can't blame stars for going, let's see. I'm an NBA star. It's a winter league. And, oh, by the way, they got movie studios everywhere. And I'm the NBA is a star-driven league. You can't blame players for wanting. There's, why, there's a reason that four of the top ten players play here now. I mean, I don't know if Giannis is that guy that cares about the movie studios and maybe not even the weather to be honest with you i think it's for him it is more about winning i think he's sort of in that kevin durant space where he is a star he is a superstar in the league he is one of the top players in the league and he hasn't gotten that championship yet but he doesn't really have the pressure to have that championship yet because he's in Milwaukee, similar to what Kevin Durant was dealing with when he was with Oklahoma City. Yeah. There's a little bit of a parallel there. He's very well liked. You can't really be too critical of Giannis. You feel like he is obviously the best player on the team. Who's the second best player? Who are the role players around him? Is it really his fault he's not winning championships? But are we going to judge his career about whether he wins championships or not? All of this stuff is on the table for if they don't win a championship this year, which they're not going to. I don't think that they will. Right. But so the pressure is not on him yet. But once that starts to become the conversation, which I think it will, similar to what it did with Kevin Durant, yeah. then I, I, I do think he's going to consider leaving. I don't think he's in the same situation as some other some other players who haven't come up in AAU. It's not about him wanting to team up. I think he is genuinely one of those competitors that absolutely wants to win a championship yes. and knows that he's going to need high-level talent around him when you look at the what he's going to have to go up against. So... That said, also, I think he might want to play with his brothers. And if L.A. can make that happen, then I end up being in that situation. Nice place to live, L.A. It's a wonderful place to live. So the Rockets continue to show their commitment to small ball this season. Houston will reportedly sign Jeff Green and Damari Carroll to the two remaining roster spots. Green will sign a 10-day contract to rejoin his former Thunder teammates, James Harden and Russell Westbrook. And Car uh, Carroll will join the team upon clearing waivers after agreeing to a buyout with the Spurs. This is all being reported by... Woj Green uh, played 30 games with the Jazz, averaged 7.8 points per game, and Carroll was with the Spurs last year. I don't think they win a, a playoff series. I honestly don't. I, I think they do. And do you think they win two? I mean, I think it depends on how... Uh, look, there's a lot that can happen in the in the last half of the season. You have to see Where, who's healthy at the end of the season. Greg, Greg, uh, you... you, you uh, uh, Greg, Houston, a fine city who does everything above board. Where's Houston <laughs> right now in the standings, Tui? They are fifth right now. So they play they? the Jazz in the first oh, it's round. It's over. They're not winning that series. They're it's not, over. They can, there's no way they can beat the Jazz. Are have more good shooters. Uh, the Jazz, I think, have a better coach. Jazz are great at home. Oh, the Jazz will run through them. Run through them. Hot knife through margarine. The Jazz will beat them in will, five games. What? Oh, a the, gentleman sweep? Yeah. No. Let, let's make a... Let's series make a, go seven... Houston I wins. will upgrade your next flight to first class. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Joey, I don't want to tell them that the Rockets won in Utah two weeks ago without Harden, don't Westbrook, Don't give any more Gordon. information to you. I'm but getting a first class ticket. Houston okay. has no chance in the playoffs to beat. You watch Utah. Utah's no fun. They got four guys that can hit a three, and sometimes they all get hot at once. I'm going to take Houston in that series. Finally, oh, in the series? Yes. Okay. I, honestly, I feel bad as, Look, I don't think that the Houston as your is mentor. Positioned. I'm stealing money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that Houston oh, is in a position to win a championship. I can't. But they yes, they're going to win a first round series. Oh, if it's Utah? Five yes, games. If it's Utah. The, be, only because Utah is full of nice people will they let it go five. It will be the so ultimate be gentleman sweep. sweep. Oh. So what, what, what do I have to do if I lose? Just be shamed. What do you get somebody that has everything? I Nothing don't know. Really. How about how about this? I tell you that you're right. <laughs> All day. I'll make you some chili. 
All right, I'm for that. Right. No okay. vegan chili. I get that at home. How about we'll talk NFL draft three hours one day? Oh. Offensive guards from the Big All right, Ten. That's cool, because I'll just talk about Burrow <laughs> and irritate you. All right, finally, a lot of MLB players have been talking about the Astros recently, and a typically quiet Mike Trout shared his thoughts on the scandal. You know, like I said, I lost some respect from some guys. Uh, obviously, you know, half, a lot of stuff that comes out, you got to see if it's true or not. I don't agree with the, the punishments. You know, the player's not, uh, you know, getting anything. You know, there was a player-driven, uh, you know, thing. You know, it's tough. You're taking the trophy away, taking, taking the rings away. Um, I think they should definitely do something. Um, I, don't, I don't know what. But to just to cheat like that and not get anything, it's it's uh, it's sad to see for sure. Look, I, I understand players being upset about it and losing respect for other players. Mm, I I careful. don't agree with not any of the players getting no punishment. They were actually out there yeah. on the field. By the way, for the record, I am for. I wouldn't have a problem with Manfred suspending uh, Altuve for 15, 20 games. Like, but I, this whole thing about take the series trophy away it's nonsense. is it's nonsense. nonsense. It's silliness. It's nonsense. It's uh, it's it, it's this is not the NCAA. There's no death penalty. It's not Memphis basketball. We're not, we're, we're not wiping away uh, records. Yes. It, it, taking back trophies. Right. No. This is this is professional sports. Yeah. You you can't be just for, cast the first stone. All right. People have been stealing signs forever. Yes, this was an elaborate. Over the top and by the way, institutionalized. Yeah, and the GM got whacked and will never get another job. Cheating scandal. So, I do think some players should be punished, but everyone is being very dramatic. Yes. And very glass house about this. This, this is a thing. Is Twitter is it's the outrage blender, and you just hope as a broadcaster you don't get thrown into it. This is like folks. Steroids lasted 15 years. It never ended. Listen, I'm not saying this wasn't bad. Of course it, it was bad. It was bad, and they should be punished. But to go as far as to take away championships, where does that stop? It what doesn't. A, what a, what, it doesn't. It, it's a, it, you have to be very careful when you set precedents like this. And, and, and listen, I wouldn't want to be the commissioner enough to make that decision, but I am certainly not taking away a championship. It's yeah. out of the question. Joy with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lie News. It's called Domino's, uh, Domino's and Tom Brady. How will the Domino's fall if Brady leaves New England? And for the record, uh, even the people who think he's coming back say, now, if there's not something in the next week, we've got an issue. Uh, so we'll, we'll play the game of Domino's coming up next. Something I look forward to every five or six weeks is my box from Butcher Box, which is, of course, protein the way it should be, natural, fresh, humanely raised, and delicious. Yeah, 100% for those on the fence, grass-fed, organic, free-range meat with no hormones ever. Delivered to your door, free shipping. Customize your own box as I do with heavy on the heritage breed pork. It's great grilled and their wild caught salmon. And for those undecided, here's your opportunity for new members. Two free filet mignons, a pack of bacon, and 20 bucks off your first box. Sign up at butcherbox.com. The code, as always, H E R D HERD. Two free steaks, pack of bacon, 20 bones off. It's all good. No hormones or antibiotics ever. Butcher Box. New members, customize it, curate it. The boxes are great. Protein's better.